What's up guys, my name is Ace, and yesterday there was a pretty big patch that came with Warzone, which kind of stole the show, and therefore a lot of people didn't even realize that this patch also had an impact on multiplayer. Another thing that some people haven't caught on to yet is the fact that they actually added a new shotgun to the game as well. So today we are going to be covering the important details of that, including a little bit of weapon balancing as well. Now before we do that, I did want to make a quick note here for anybody that's not into Warzone and Warzone content and you're just here for multiplayer. I did want to give you guys a heads up that Warzone is going to kind of take over this channel for the next little while. Having said that, I am not abandoning multiplayer by any means. It's just right now, Warzone's the big thing that's hyped up right now. People want to know about it. I want to test a lot of stuff. So at least for the next week or two, it will end up being primarily Warzone content on this channel. After that, though, we're probably going to be getting back into the more multiplayer side of things. So now that we have that quick disclaimer out of the way, let's hop into these changes that affected multiplayer. Now, I am only going to be covering the things that I really feel are important to note, things that actually matter in-game, things that are actually noticeable. So, of course, if you want to check out all of the other little details and minor bug fixes and stuff, I will leave a link to the patch notes down below. But the first thing that affected gameplay is they buffed the crossbow bolts with thermite tips against juggernauts. Now, when the crossbow first launched, I did test this, but I can't seem to find in my notes exactly how many thermite-tipped crossbow bolts it took to kill a juggernaut. But I can tell you, post-patch, it's going to take you 8 hits with a thermite-tipped crossbow to take out a juggernaut. So I would say, in multiplayer at least, this is still generally not going to be your best bet at taking out a juggernaut really, really quickly. But it's not horrible either, and you can deal quite a bit of damage to them by sticking them with one of these thermite-tipped crossbow bolts. Having said that, I think this is going to shine a lot more in Spec Ops. Because generally when AI Juggernauts are hit with Thermite, it actually has a stunning effect as well, so they can't shoot back at you, and therefore you can just spam them with these crossbow bolts, and you should be able to kill them fairly easily. But just keep in mind, multiplayer-wise, it's not really that great for taking out Juggernauts. Next up, something that I really liked that was added, that I think was initially added for Warzone, but this applies to multiplayer as well. We now have the ability to have a square minimap rather than a round one, and this is excellent. And I highly encourage you guys to switch over to the square minimap, because it actually does give you slightly more coverage on the map. You can see a little bit further with what's going on around you, and therefore I just see no reason not to switch to square. If you really like the circle for whatever reason, sure, you can stick to it but you are getting more information with the square minimap. After that, we have something that looks really good in the patch notes at least. The 725 shotgun with the sawed off barrel did get a nerf, and this is something a lot of people have been asking for because the range was just ridiculous with this thing with sawed off for whatever reason. But they did state in the patch notes, you now have increased movement speed with this, which is actually a little bit of a buff to it. However, they also increase the aim down sight spread, so you're going to get a wider spread while aiming down sight, which is generally not a good thing with shotguns. You want that spread as tight as possible, especially while aiming down sight, because then that gives you the ability to be precise at those longer ranges where you're really trying to stretch that one-shot kill range out. Now it looks like it's going to be more difficult to hit those one-shot kills at longer ranges. And to top that off, they reduce the damage while aiming down sight, which sounds a little bit strange and really seems strange to me that they can actually reduce damage by just aiming. It seems kind of silly that it would work like that. But they also said that they reduced the far damage range. And then something else they did, which is also technically kind of a buff, is they extended the very lethal close damage range. So altogether, it looks like they primarily nerfed the sawed off barrel on the 725, but there were a couple little bonuses they added in there as well, like the increased movement speed. And also now at really close ranges, you should be far more likely to be getting consistent kills with the sawed off shotgun. Having said that, it should be less effective when you're trying to stretch the ranges out a little bit further. Now again, this is an area where I didn't have testing done with this specific attachment on the 725, so I can't show you pre-patch footage here. But aiming down sight with the sawed off barrel, this is our maximum one hit kill potential, which as you can see here is still pretty respectable at 9.7 meters. That's very solid. It honestly surprised me a little bit. I didn't think I'd be getting a one shot kill at this range, but you absolutely can. And then I also tested this while hip firing and I was absolutely blown away at the fact that you still get a one shot kill out to 9.1 meters by just hip firing at your target especially with that really wide hip fire spread. So they say they nerfed this, and perhaps they did. I've got nothing to compare it to from pre-patch, but this still seems pretty ridiculous with its one-shot kill potential while using the sawed-off barrel. 
So I don't think we're seeing the 725 with the sawed off barrel go anywhere anytime soon, unfortunately, in Modern Warfare. But finally, I did want to just briefly cover the new shotgun and just generally its performance. Keep in mind, I'm not going into really extreme detail with this. That will be done with my gun guide series, but I just want to give you kind of an indication of how it performs. This is a pump action shotgun that has a rate of fire of 136 rounds per minute, which is much slower than the Origin 12, but it's much, much faster than the Model 680. So it's kind of somewhere in between there. And with this, our maximum one hit kill potential without attachments appears to be just 4.1 meters, which isn't incredible by any means. But when you factor in the rate of fire as well, that does kind of make sense. If it did have a crazy one shot kill range, it would become really overpowered really quickly. So it does seem that this shotgun, while it can get those one hit kills at really close ranges, it's primarily designed to be like the two shot kill shotgun, where you get your two shots off fairly quickly, but you'll get nice consistent two shot kills if you're playing it right. Now at this point, I've been so busy with Warzone, I haven't even had time to unlock this shotgun and use it for myself, so I don't have much of an opinion on this yet, but I will be sure to share my opinion on that once we get into the gun guide for it. And with that, that pretty much covers it for all of the important things that I feel you guys need to know with this recent patch. Not a whole lot really changed here aside from the addition of the new shotgun, but I did want to make sure I kept you guys updated on this. And of course, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about these changes? First off, do you think that was much of a nerf to the 725 with the sawed off barrel? And also, what are your thoughts on the new shotgun that they added to the game? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Somewhere in between? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.